Next, we will show the hoop, axial, and radial stresses graphically. Click on stress in the toolbar. Click normal. Let's do the same thing two more times in order to have all three stresses. Normal 1, 2, and 3 might eventually get confusing. So let's rename our stresses. Right-click and select Rename. I will call this one Hoop Stress. This middle one Axial Stress. And the last one Radial Stress. Okay, so let's now define the orientation of each stress. Let's go back and take a look at the axis drawn in the problem statement. So hoop stress is in the z direction, axial is in the y direction, and radial is in the x direction. Let's input the orientation for all three stresses. So go here. Change the orientation. Hoop stress should be Z. Axial should be Y. And radial is X. Okay, we're good to go. Click Solve. Here are the stress representations. I personally like to show the undeformed body. So I'll go here and select undeformed. Note that the negative stress is a compressive stress, and it is shown in blue here. The red regions are tensile regions. If we look at this section and imagine the body deforming, we can get some intuition that these stress regions are correct. We're now at the point where we can start comparing our numerical results to the analytical results that we found in the startup section of the tutorial. Remember that we want to do this at 9 inches from the end cap, so at the top edge of our L-shaped body. There are many ways to do this. We will start with our very simple probe. As a first check, let's look at the inner and outer surfaces of the radial stress figure. We see that we have negative 972.37 on the inner edge and negative 9.1056 on the outer edge. So that's very close to the negative 1000 and 0 psi that we expected. Our mesh is actually pretty coarse. We're finding it as we will later do might make our results match better. In a similar fashion, we can use our probe to find the other unknown numerical stresses. I invite you to do this on your own. In the next video, I will show you a different and neat way to find the stresses at the location we want. So let's save our project now.